year, when I gave a keynote speech, the community and especially also the GSMA who's organizing this got really excited about the future of mobile that really Graphene will enable. So they asked to start thinking of presenting the community here at the Mobile World Congress to show what we can do with Graphene, how far we are, can we demonstrate some prototypes, get a mix of companies and academic institutions together and basically start interacting with all the players in the mobile industry. For the first time this year, the Mobile World Congress is devoting a space to graphene, this new material, which is called the Graphene Pavilion. This pavilion is organized by ICFO, uh, together with the flagship, the European project, the Graphene flagship, and supported by GSMA and the European Commission. It's been a fantastic experience um, to, to see Graphene at the mobile conference for the first time, I believe. You know, um, and you know, we have gotten quite a bit of interest in the devices that we're making out of graphene um, and how it can be applied to, to, to real-world applications. It's really important to have a sense of, of direction when you develop new materials and being in a place where it's always at the cutting edge of new product developments, graphene fits very well at the beginning of that product development. Graphene can enable technologies in particular as the one shown here, ranging from RFIDs, near-field communication, flexible and bendable displays. So we have a place that major consumer electronics companies and mobile companies, internet of things companies, were able to see our technology so they can see that graphene is not just in the lab. And actually you are attracting their attention and they are extremely interested to see what we are doing. And that is really amazing that we get from you know, starting something small in the lab to something really big at the Mobile World Congress. Now we are part of this big industry, which we never thought that it would be, but we are now. We would have to progress even faster with the application, but it's quite exciting for a scientist to, to go from doing experiments and writing papers to the real world applications, and especially at such a big gathering. Graphene and this two-dimensional crystal allows our imagination to go further. Now we can think about things that were not possible before. And we can think in a way that, wow, maybe it's possible. Personally, what I'm most excited about is how graphene can affect the speed of, of uh, electronic devices. What I've seen with graphene and graphene-like materials are, you know, we can get an order of magnitude improvement in the, the speed of our, our transistors. We work on flexible sensors, for example, for wearables. In our institute, we also work on flexible touchscreens and also on flexible solar cells. We develop uh, graphene inks for printed electronics. You can make antennas which work without a battery for up to 10 meters, or they can potentially replace your metallic antennas that are within our mobile phones and mobile devices in order for them to be completely flexible or even embedded within clothing. Graphene is scalable, so mass production is already possible, both in thin film and in liquid uh, solutions. And if we look at the future of data communication in 2024, Datacom cannot be done at low power consumption with current technology. And so Graphene will enable that. So you will be able to stream, for example, high definition movies on your mobile phone without running out of battery in a few seconds. Because as a very large area with small weight, it's a promising material for, for storage, electricity, ions, batteries, and so on. And we can integrate graphene into existing materials, plastic, metal, uh, whatever. You can take very common objects and you can add functionalities that can improve the performance. You can go further again. For this reason, we are organizing a session within the Mobile World Congress conference program, which includes a set of visionary talks by industry leaders and research academics that are working in graphene-related technologies. I want this to be a success. A success will be measured by Graphene entering the value chain and entering into applications by the end of the flagship. So we would like to be here every, every year and see Graphene slowly being incorporated into intermediate products and finally having that big industrial revolution that we're all hoping to have. So my dream will really be that my neighbor will come to me and say, like, I have a Graphene device and I really like it. Yeah.